Hi. In this packet tracer, we will configure the DHCPv4. Firstly, we will configure a router as a DHCP server. On our topology, it should be the router 2. Next, we will configure the DHCP relay agent. You can see, for the PC1 and PC2, we get the IP addresses from router 2. So, router 1 and router 3 should be configured as DHCP relay agents. And then, we will configure a router as a DHCP client. You can see, router 2 acts as a DHCP server, but when it connects to the internet, the ISP will provide the IP address or the public IP address for router 2. At that time, router 2 will be the DHCP client. And lastly, we will verify DHCP and connectivity. Now we are on part 1. Configure a router as a DHCP server. Firstly, we will configure the excluded IPv4 address. Because addresses that have been statically assigned to devices in networks that will use DHCP must be excluded from DHCP pools. It avoids errors associated with duplicate IP addresses. In this case, the IP addresses of router 1 and router 3 LAN interface must be excluded from DHCP. In addition, nine other addresses are excluded for static assignment to other devices such as servers and device management interface. Now on router 2, we will exclude the first 10 addresses from router 1 LAN. On the configuration mode, we use the command IP DHCP excluded address. The LAN from router 1 is from 192, 192, 192.168.10.1, 192.168.10.10. And now we will configure uh, Route 2 to exclude the first 10 addresses from Route 3 LAN. Let's check for the IP address 30. So we need to change 30 and 30. On step 2, we will create a DHCP pool on router 2 for the router 1 LAN. The command is IP DHCP pool. And the name, router 1 LAN. And we will configure the pool to include the network address. Network with the subnet mask and then the default gateway default routers and the DNS server. And then we will create a DHCP pool on router 2 for the router 3 LAN. You can do it yourself because it's a similar task like uh, configuring for the router 1 LAN. So after configuring the pools, 
on router 2 for router 1 LAN and router 3 LAN so now we should check by using the command show run you see we exclude the some static addresses for router 1 LAN and router 2 uh, router 3 LAN and then we create the IP pool for router 1 LAN with the network the default router and the DNS server and for the router 3 LAN it's okay now on part 2 we will configure DHCP relay step 1 we will configure router 1 and router 3 as a DHCP relay agent you see that when the PC send a DHCP discover message it will receive on gigabit 0 slash 1 on router 1 so we need to configure the gigabit 0 slash 0 uh, gigabit 0 slash 0 here to be forward that message to uh, router 2 as a DHCP server so now on router 1 I enter the configuration mode and then the interface mode gigabit 0 slash 0 and then I use the command IP helper address it will forward to the IP address of router 2 so I will enter the IP address of router 2 1 1 and 2 and on router 3 we do the same IP helper we can send it to the IP address of the ser this serial interface so let's let have a look at the IP address of the serial interface on router 2 0 slot 0 slot 1 is 10 2 2 2 10 Next, we will configure PC1 and PC2 to get the IP address dynamically from router 2 by click on the DHCP. And you see, it has the IP address had just get the IP address, the IP address from the router 2 and on PC2. You see, we had just got the IP addresses from the router 2. Next, we will configure router as a DHCP client. As you see here, the router 2 connected the internet and the ISP will provide uh, the public IP address for the port gigabit 0 slash 1. So on the that interface we will configure it as uh, uh, getting the IP address from the ISP IP address DSCP no shutdown to verify the IP address on this interface, we will enter the command dot do show IP interface script. You 
see here the gigabit zero slash one and assign the SCP up zero slash one. method DHCP up and it takes some time for the ZIT interface to get the IP address from the internet so I click on the fast forward time and you see here the ZIT log message DHCP 6 address aside the interface give it a 0 slot 1 aside the SCP. And then we can check it for in here. This is the IP, the public IP from the DSCP uh, server uh, of the ISP. And then uh, on part one, we uh, part four, we will verify DSCP and connectivity. Uh, and uh, on router two, we will show the IP DSCP binding. Show the FCP binding uh, so IP the FCP binding to get the summary of the IP usage on uh, this router or uh, this DSCP uh, server. You see here uh, we we have two IP addresses that is leased by this server is for PC1 and this for PC3 the type automated and the PC2 uh, PC1 and PC2 can now ping to each other on PC1 ping to PC2 You see, we get a reply from the PC2. So that is all for this activity guide. Thanks for watching.